Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a three litre TD V6 HSE automatic. It's four wheel drive, Euro 6. It's a five door, 2018 on 18 plate. MOT until the 17th of the 4th, 2024, and last serviced on the 27th of the 6th, 2023. It's on 63,349 miles, last serviced at 61,537 miles. It's another special car, really, or special vehicle. It's not as you would expect just looking at it, and I'll show you why in a short while. But we've got keyless entry, keyless go, so long as you've got the key on you lock the door just by touching this uh, indentation in the handle you come back to it put your hand behind car opens windows fold out and that's it you get in and just press the button starts the car and drives away um, i'm pretty sure you can knock off the uh, keyless entry if, if you so desire and to be to be fair these days it's probably a good idea to knock it off but anyway it's got it if you want so it's got rear privacy glass and, and the, the rear privacy glass you you will never ever see through it and I'll again I'll show you the the reason for that too so the the plastic protector at the bottom piano black multi-spoke alloy wheels it has uh, scorpion zeros are they scorpion scorpion zeros 255 55 r20s so they're really good tires too the gloss black discovery badges and again just a, a couple of trims that are, are black too oh we've got the uh, plastic wheel arch protectors too here high pressure headlamp wash black discovery badges black grille land rover again everybody knows what i think of these cars they are the best car on the road uh, would i lie to you front parking sensors has the gloss black mirror caps the black window uh, surrounds two integrated rear tailgate spoiler black discovery badges just under there that's the reversing camera if I do that power open power close tailgate if you do it from the key this folds down automatically if you just do it from the button uh, it's still up there or you can put it down from here also another kind of party trick here so if I just click that I just watch the last bit and make sure you're well out of the way so it's got deployable tow bar too great great feature and, and costs a few quid nice big flat load area has a parcel guard stroke dog guard whatever and, and it's a, a metal one so anything that's in the back you break suddenly it's not going to uh, brain you big thick heavy duty uh, load cover to load mat we can also put the put in your, your trailer on your caravan whatever you can also let's just make sure I get the right one oh no that's going up so that's going down and you you can put this up from here like so or just shut the tailgate Rear parking sensors and this uh, light silver grey uh, panel on the back. It looks a million dollars and they drive fantastic. Right, now then, I'll kind of show you in the back. So here you go. It's not a car, it's a van. Or as John would say, Baz, it's a van. So here you go. So that's all covered. You can't see through the, the glass. As I say, this big, thick rubber load mat and the load area separator. And because it's a Land Rover, I'm now going to take you for a ride in the best van in the world. OK, I'll just uh, move the jacket. Okay, so that's the Land Rover key. 
put it anywhere. It usually fits quite quite good there. Never use the handbrake anyway on automatic or I, I don't. Foot on the brake, start the vehicle. Just tell you the service history and uh, go through it quickly. The first one was a PDI there, but 14th of the 2nd, 2019 at 16,147 miles, Peter Vardy Land Rover. Uh, second one, 21st of 10th, 2020 at 48,299 miles, Pentland Land Rover. 4th of 5th, 2021 at 53,193 miles, Taggart's Land Rover. 31st of the 3rd, 2022 at 57,058 miles, Virtue Land Rover. 27th of the 6th, 2023, at 61,537 miles, Bill Wayne Service Centre, where, wherever that one is. Let's get these out of the way. And then, fantastic specification, Meridian speakers for a start, which, uh, you know, in a, in a commercial vehicle it is, is unbelievable. And then the display, the dashboard, just just absolutely brilliant. It's got electric memory seats, three position electric memory seats. I don't think I've set them yet. So we'll just go to first position. All right, that's simple enough, first position. These are the people who've been driving this vehicle. Yep. I think that's the little ladies position um, you really need to be 10 inches away from uh, any airbag so um, man you should probably not as fat as me <laughs> right so that's position two position three goodness me wow you, I'm sure you would just get absolutely squished if you if your airbag went off in that position but uh, anyway, so I'll, I'll get it to where I want to sit. So get back. So you've, you've got electric door mirrors, you've got um, electrically adjustable tilt and slide multifunction steering wheel. Get down here. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. And just, just move that there. Uh, will it go down? No, it won't go down anymore. So that's about right. The door mirrors there and you can see in the door mirrors you've got blind spot warning indicator so we'll just click that lights come on and move that down so i can see the door handles click it across there again door handles again and then i've got a good view now if i just click the m button and then one memory setting one safe so that's it so wherever it, you you'll see there you see the mirrors moving and, and the and the steering wheel and so on. So all I have to do now is click one and I go straight back to the exact position. It's, uh, it's brilliant. That, that's one thing I really like in a car, especially when somebody takes it out and drives it and then moves it and uh, you just get back in and press a button. It's brilliant. Also, this car or this van, if you have your charging lead with you, and you plug your charging lead in to one of these and you plug your charging lead into one of them the right way around that's even better and then not only does it charge it but apple it's got apple carplay as well so i can remember for this device click that apple carplay so when you get in the car you plug this in, it remembers what you want to do. So not only is it charging, but it switched Apple CarPlay on it as well. And I, I can do that like so. So it's got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming anyway. Um, I'll quickly, should I or shouldn't I? It's fairly cold today, so I don't think my cameras will, will overheat. So settings. Settings, we want Bluetooth. Watching out at the bottom. We go over to the system. You've got telephone there. Click on telephone, John's phone or pair new device. Now, in the home position, there's no phone connected anyway. So you get in, you start the car, and it gives you the option to, to connect a phone. But if there's already a phone in there, you want to connect another one, you go to telephone, you click pair new device, 
watch out, it's, that's come up straight away. Land Rover stuff is so simple to use. Verify these numbers match the display on Barry's iPhone 13 Pro. Well, it does, so click pair and click yes there. Allow contacts and favorites to sync, allow, and that's it. My, my phone is connected. Also, if we go to music, go to music, click on Susie there, you'll see at the bottom Land Rover Discovery. Click on the, the car, tick next to Land Rover Discovery, whatever music, whatever audio, whether it be Apple Music, iTunes, uh, Spotify, Amazon Prime Music, the soundtrack from a YouTube track or a TikTok track, uh, then it will play through the audio system in this car. And the audio system is second to none, it's fantastic. So, we'll go back, I'll click play. Back over to the system. See here the clapperboard and the music note, click on yeah, there. that's what happens to take Cicero, so, for example, he was murdered uh, hiding out in the countryside. I'll just turn that down, that sounds like a lot of bad news to me. But it's come on to radio, we want it to play the Bluetooth. So we click source, you see there, Barry's iPhone, it's got radio, Barry's iPhone. If there was a CD in, it would say CD and, and so on. There you go, Barry's iPhone. Click on there. Now we can turn it up. I'm sorry, I'm used to going over there for the... We'll turn it up. And Susie's playing. So that's, that's how you stream audio. Um, it, it, it is a brilliant system. You can also see there, change device. So if, if you don't like the driver's music, you can put the passenger's device on so long as that's paired now then so we'll go back here we'll click on we'll, we'll just wait for that sometimes you'll get a sign up here that says allow use of apple carplay while the screen's locked on here worth putting a price on there yes and he says oh, i'm going to turn that down um let's just go back we'll go back We'll go to general, where's general? There you go, general. Um, you've got CarPlay, Land Rover Discovery there. Um, allow, see there, allow CarPlay. Uh, could, well, allow CarPlay whilst the screen's locked. So that's if it doesn't work, that's what you have to do. Then you don't need to do anything else. You never need to take your hand off the cell. Oh, let me just show you the reversing camera there. You never need to take your hands off the steering wheel at all or do anything. You can phone, you can text, you can, you can control your music, uh, you can listen to an audio book, um, set the sat nav, we'll, we'll get going. But this button here, the voice activation, if I click on voice activation for, for two seconds, you'll see the Siri sign comes up here and you don't have to say, hey, S-I-R-I -I, and... and tell it what to do so we'll just get out here make sure there's nothing coming and it's so much easier sometimes when there's a car park just at the side here and you're in a normal saloon car you realize how good it is to be in a, a Land Rover or, or a big four-wheel drive because you sometimes there's a car park just here and you can't see this big cement mixer coming which would waste well it would waste you in anything else but I, I fan, I stood, I'd still fancy my chances in a Land Rover or a Range Rover of getting out okay. So, the voice activation. Call Barry. Calling Barry, iPhone. So it's ringing me, it's engaged, and, and the reason it's engaged is my phone's there and I'm calling myself. And uh, so that, that's it, so that, that's a telephone call. So, I want to text somebody, again, without having to take my eyes off the road, there, that's where the, that's where the button is, the voice activation button, so thumb, text Barry. What do you want to say to Barry? I want to say, I'm in a Land Rover Discovery van. It's a van, Baz. It says, I want to say I'm in a Land Rover Discovery van. It's a van, Baz. Do you want to send it or change it? Send, please. Done. Just watch there. One's come up. My phone's on silent, otherwise my phone would have beeped as well. 
but there's a, so there's a text there, and uh, of course, you, once you know you've got a text, you, you're dying to to read it, and, and it's six points on your license or and a, a, a huge fine. You don't have to do that. You just press this for a couple of seconds. Read text, please. Barry said, I want to say I'm in a Land Rover Discovery van. It's a Van Bars. Would you like to reply? No, thank you. Those are all your messages. So that's the messages. Then you've got, what do we want to do? Play music. Shuffling all songs from Apple Music. Well, Donko? I'm just going to uh, pause that. But also, if you want to play a specific track, um, we'll, we'll see how complicated we can make it for it for it to find a track. So, two seconds. Play the weekend and Ariana Grande. Now playing the weekend and Ariana Grande. So uh, we'll knock that off. In the meantime, you'll see it's also got lane departure warning. So I'll, I'll just, um, let's just see. I'll get around this corner, make sure there's nothing, another <laughs> cement mixer coming around the corner. And then we'll just, without signaling, we'll just go across the line there. And there you go, it's vibrating the steering wheel. And a big, a big light comes on saying you're going over the, the white line. Of course, it, if you didn't know already, then there's not much hope for you. What else can we do with this? All right. Navigate to PR54EA. Getting directions to Higher Walton. Now it's saying there go, so if you if you touch go, it would go. If you, if you just if you just leave it. If you just leave it, it will set. It's taking me that way, I don't want to go that way. It will just set up on its own. Also, you'll see there in half a mile, on my watch, it's, it's also giving me like haptic taps on my watch to tell me there's a, an instruction. So that's, that's, it's just absolutely fantastic. You can set reminders even to uh, remind you when you get to work or when you get to a postcode, when you get to an address, to, to do something, which, which I find brilliant. Uh, audio books, you, you've got all these things here. There you go, audio books, uh, listen to YouTube soundtracks, Spotify there. Cancel navigation. Ending navigation. Thank you. Right. Back to the car again. The right hand side here, you've got cruise control. Brilliantly simple. Just fabulous, easy system. I'll just show you. So we're doing 42 miles an hour at the moment. Click set. That's it set. I want to increase the speed. Click the top. And it's just going up like so. I want to reduce the speed, I click down like so. I want to knock it off, I click cancel or I touch the brake. And I want to resume, I click resume there and it goes straight back. Um, we'll just watch the mirrors now. You've seen this, uh, we'll go across the line without indicating. So there you go, it's haptic taps through the steering wheel. And then look out for the mirrors. And there you go, blind spot warning. Fantastic invention. Other than the heated steering wheel, that's the best invention ever. There you go, blind spot warning, blind spot warning. Fabulous. Paddle shift on the steering wheel. Oh, actually, that's that's not working. The reason it's not working. Go into menu. Got display units off road. Right, we don't want that. 
that's on display, so we don't want it on display. We'll do that again. Display, and then we're looking for vehicle settings. Vehicle settings, convenience features. Let's just see. We're going to go left here. So we're on to convenience features, see if it's in there. Reverse dip mirror, well that's a good thing, so we want that on. Windows global open, windows global close, auto access height, you get out of the car, the vehicle goes down, get in the car, it goes up again. Now we, we get down, wiper settings, gear shift paddles, click on gear shift paddles. It says active in sport only, I want it active in sport and drive. I never use sport, I have no need to use sport because fast enough and does everything I need it to do. So now the paddles are active in sport and drive. And if I knock down like that, changes down to drive six, drive fifth. But the whole point of getting a Land Rover or Range Rover is to be comfortable. There's no need to speed in one. You just float along, you waft along. Uh, 66 miles an hour, click set, that's the cruise on again. You've got heated seats, click that, dual, got heated seats there. Or, just up here, you've got the seat button, and then that brings it up on the display. No, no need to have it on the display. There really isn't a need to have it on the display. There's a little button here that you don't have to look at. Just click it on and turn it up. You know when you're hot enough. The display on the, or the driver's display. Right, let's have a look. So we're gonna click menu. That's on vehicle settings. We'll go back, display. You've got display layout, click on display layout. And that's saying full map, one dial or two dial. If I go back up to two dial, with the map, it's the whole screen of the map, you've no need to look away. It's, it's like having a heads up display really. So you've no need to look away. And the, at the bottom of the map, you've got your fuel gauge, mileometer, what gear you're in and speed, digital speed. That's all you need, really. But I'm gonna click on two dial. So that's the two dial display now. Speedo on the outside. On the inside, you've got digital speedo, which is telling you what speed you're doing. Then you've got traffic signal recognition, telling me it's 70 miles an hour. You've got your fuel gauge. On the far left, it's telling you that your lane departure warning's on. It's so annoying. It really is. And the other annoying thing, over here you've got stop start. You need to knock that off. You need to knock stop start off straight away because that's stupid. And eventually we'll get you killed pulling out of a junction when it stops your engine just as you're about to set off. Um, so now, showing the lane departure in the center. Well, there's nothing behind me. There you go. So it's, again, coming up red, you, you're going over the line there, you idiot. The right hand side, you've got rev counter in the center. It's telling you what gear you're in. So it's showing drive at the moment. So if I click the puddle there, it's down to drive six. At the top, in the middle, on the left hand side, you've got the time and you've got the outside air temperature there. Um, power folding door mirrors, press both the buttons at once. I've told you about the Meridian speakers, the sound system, the Apple CarPlay. Um, if I just click on home there, that tells me navigation, if I want to go in navigation. It's, it's the three quick routes for media, phone, navigation. If I click that along there, eco data, again, you've got Apple CarPlay, web browser. Why would you have that in a car? I don't know. Valet mode, seats, live go along again deployable tow bar so you can put the tow bar down from here tow bar measure load oh, well, 
Baz, you can only do that when you've just put a, a load on. Um, it also has it also has a, a light check, so you can click that and it, it checks all your lights on your trailer, make sure everything's all right. We'll go back again. So so that's it. In, in you, you're four by four. For further on information, you've got to click that you're going to be uh, sensible there. Low traction launch, off-road information. Climate control, turn up like so. If you don't want your passenger to uh, be at the temperature they want to be at, you click sync and then you can just move here and as you can see it's uh, the passenger side is synced with the driver's side. Heated front windscreen, he heated rear windscreen and you've got, if we open there, there, you see that, if I click that, that will eject a CD, no CD in at the moment. Now, now I've slowed down there, it's showing me the four wheel drive information. And I think if I go in there, there's that, yep. So you've got two cup holders, and then you've got a little Heidi cubby, cubby hole with another, I think it's a USB in there. And this is a van. <laughs> Leather seats, contrast piping, very, very comfortable. Big front centre armrest in there, and I think that's a, I think that's a cooler box. Seats dead, dead comfortable. We've got lumbar support there. The round controls lumbar support. Oh, that's it. It's, it's just absolutely perfect. This is an ideal vehicle for me because I always need loads of luggage space. But to be honest, I'd be all right with the one seater. It's very seldom I have somebody in the passenger seat. I come to work, I go home, um, park up, very seldom use the vehicle at weekends. But during the week, I've got all my camera equipment or uh, perhaps my bike in the back or, or, you know, snowboarding gear, all that sort of stuff. And it's, it's perfect. So anything else? Indicators on the left, wipers on the right. Um, any other modes that we need to know, click on there. So that's info panel, display, vehicle settings, vehicle info, tire information, tire pressures. Gives you tire pressures all round tells you what they should be and what they actually are that's um, that's a plus because you know what it's like you're always it, tire pressure information is in the fuel flap or on one of the sills inside the door you don't want to be looking at that. and also <laughs> only uh, only people with bionic eyes can read this as well so it, just a great car, just a great vehicle, great van, great commercial. And um, the, whatever you do, if you're a vet or something, then it's ideal. You can get anywhere, you can get out on farms. If you're a farmer, you've got the four wheel drive. This will go virtually anywhere uh, with and carry virtually anything. When the weather gets worse, this is the vehicle you want, especially if other people are depending on you delivering stuff or getting to your destination. Fantastic vehicle. Anyway, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.